Okay, so in this part, we are going to start working on the UI. Um, to start things up, I'm going to change the title to Joe's Sandwiches. Okay, next, I'm going to split my grid into two columns. So, grid, grid that column definitions. Then add two column definitions. So we got two columns. Uh, next, I'd like to have the second column to be larger than the first because that's where the tab control is going to go. So I'm going to go into my first column and set the width to 0 0.5. Asterisk. Okay, I think that's a good size. So this is going to be our uh, list box. That's going to be our receipt area. And uh, on the right hand side, we'll have tab control. Um, the benefit of setting the width like this, it's uh, it allows the the panel to be uh, uh, dynamic and when you resize your window again it resizes nicely based on your window size so I think we covered that part before so let's keep going um, so let's add our tab control it's going to be grid Column. One. Okay. Next, let's add a tab item. And give it a header. Okay, um, for now, let's just say text block, text, and let's set this to sandwiches, sandwich. Okay, let's run this, make sure it builds. All right, so we got our first tab. Okay, that's good. Now, actually, I want this to be a stack panel with inside a stack panel. So control KS because I'm going to add an image as well. And uh, that image here in the source, our image is going to be images slash, um, let's say, chicken. That I think it's JPEG this time. There you go. So we got a large sandwich in there. Let's resize this at the height to 30, I think. That's more like it. Let's run this. See how, see how it looks. Hmm. Perfect. Okay. So we got our first tab item with a header. Inside this tab item, I want to add a list view that's going to contain our sandwiches. Okay, so I'm going to give this a name. Let's call this um, list view L LVW for short and sandwich. 
the second part of the capital, so it's easier to locate. Okay, um, so we've got the list, pick, list view in here. That's good. Alright, next, let's go to our code behind file and create a property that's going to supply us the list of the sandwiches. So let's do a prop, tab, tab. Type of list, sandwich. And let's call this sandwich list. Yeah, and we're going to set this to XML data get sandwiches. Okay, let's go back to our designer. Let's first set the data context. And it's going to be binding relative source, relative resource, relative source space self. It is uh, almost set. again. If you see my other videos, this is similar to setting the data context to this in the code behind. Okay, so um, now that's in place. Let's go ahead and set the item source of our. I should break the line from here. Item source, and let's set this to binding. And we should have IntelliSense help. For our sandwich list okay so we got that let's uh, run this make sure it builds okay so we have three sandwiches here great now we're going to edit our item so we need to expand our list box and then list view and I'm going to Edit the template, so list view. Item template. And here I want to add a data template. And within our data template, I need a stack panel. Okay, so first I need text block that uh, actually yeah text block and this is going to be the name of this sandwich so it's going to be bound to um, the name property close that out next I want to add an image this is going to be bound to the source is going to be bound to the image property of our sandwich and another text block and this one is going to be bound to the price so if we did everything right we should have this property is displayed when we run this instead of the class name. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and run this. Mm, yes, we got it, but the image is too large. Let's, so let's change the image size to set the height to 30. See how that works. Mm, that's better, but um, not quite there yet. Let's uh, increase the font size of our text blocks to so let's try sixteen.
Let me run this again. Okay. Maybe I should increase the size of the image as well. So instead of uh, 30, let's go with uh, 50. See how that looks. Mm, not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and increase the font size for the uh, text box a little bit. So let's change this to 2018 and change this to 22. Let's see how that looks. I think that's much better. Uh, if you disagree, drop a comment, please. Uh, we can readjust it. All right. So uh, next, we are going to turn this into the stack panel and make it a button. We need the cl click event to add the item. So let's do Control K S, add the tag, and let's change this to a button. Okay, and let's give some padding. Give five for padding. Let's try that. Okay, let's get in there. Great. All right. Now, uh, next thing I want to do is we'll do the um, alignment. I mean. Uh, Instead of vertical, we'll do horizontal on our list view. So I'm going to go inside my list view here, enter and say list view, list view dot items panel. And here, items panel template. And I want to use wrap panel as a reference for um, content alignment. So I'm going to set the host is is item host and set that to true. Okay. Now the item should be listed from left to right versus um, vertically. So let's run this and see how it looks now. Okay, that's much better. All right, so we've got three sandwiches in our list view and they are inside a button. Okay, 